Hi everyone. Welcome to Bone Doctor. Today's topic is delayed union and non-union of fractures. In our daily lives, we have seen many people experience fractures and we have seen them unite very well. But there are few cases in which fractures delays itself in union or the fractures fails to unite. In this video, we would discuss causes of non-union of fractures and types of non-union of fractures. And at last, I would discuss what we as doctors do if we find cases of non. First, what is a delayed union? Delayed union by definition is when a fracture doesn't unite within its stipulated time of union. A fracture normally unites by three to six months after another fracture has occurred. If the fracture is not progressing or not getting united by six months, we call the fracture as delayed union. And what is non-union? If a fracture is not united, even after nine months of fracture, and for last three months, there is no signs of healing or progression of union, then we label the fracture as non-union. Now, what are the causes which leads to such delayed union or non-union? First and foremost is the fracture site and the fracture pattern. If the fracture is a very comminuted one and there are many butterfly fragments to the fractures and the blood supply to such fragments has been severely damaged due to the intensity of the accident, then these fragments go avascular or dead due to absence of blood supply. So the fracture ends do not come in contact and there is a chance of delayed union and a non-union. There are various sites of the body where if fractures occur, the chances of delayed union or non-union is more such as the scaphoid, the head of the femur, the head of the humerus. Here the blood supply is very precarious, very, these are supplied by very thin arteries which get easily damaged during fracture. Thus when these fractures occur, there are chances that the head of the humerus or the proximal pole of scaphoid or the head of the femur completely loses its blood supply and thus it goes into avascular necrosis and thus it causes non-union. If there is an open fracture, that is, there is a huge amount of soft tissue damage, soft tissue loss and the bones of the body has been exposed outside the skin. In such cases, the bone which is exposed gets completely devoid of blood supply and thus it lands up in non-union because we have seen in the previous video that for a fracture to unite the blood supply to that bone is very very important if the blood supply goes damaged then the bone doesn't unite there are few patients in which non-union occurs often such as if a patient is severely diabetic, if a patient is suffering from hypothyroidism, these patients suffer from 
microvascular diseases which causes slow blood supply or impaired blood supply to the bones thus if the patients of diabetes gets a fracture the process of fracture union gets slow the nutritional status of the patient is very very important if the patient is suffering from deficiencies of calcium various vitamins proteins then uh, the patient is likely to go into delayed union or non union if the patient regularly intakes certain drugs such as steroids or non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs these drugs delays the process of fracture union and last but not the least is smoking smokers suffer from microvascular diseases thus if a person smokes a lot then there is a chance that the person may experience delayed union or non union now let us discuss what are the types of non union number 1 is hypertrophic non union what is hypertrophic non union in hypertrophic non union the bones are healthy the patient is healthy the bones have adequately tried to unite by by a callus formation but just because a lack of stability at the fracture site the fractures have not united that is the fractures were not adequately stabilized by plaster or by surgery so there has been constant movement at the fracture site during its process of union so the bones have failed to unite these fractures are very easily handled by us and just uh, stabilizing these fractures by means of a plaster or by means of surgery helps in healing of these fractures next type is a atrophic non union in atrophic non union the blood supply to the fracture ends has been damaged either it has been during the fracture that is during the accident or during uh, due to the patient's nutritional status or due to microvascular diseases the blood supply to the fracture ends have been severely compromised so the fracture ends in in, in so the fracture ends rather than going to unite rather than forming a callus it has atrophied or that means these have become very thin and they have become non united in these cases we have to do a surgery we have to excise the atrophic ends we have to stabilize the bones and we have to fix it with bone grafts and apply bone morphogenic proteins etc the third type is a oligotrophic non union in which there is a combination of factors of hypertrophic non union and atrophic non union that is the bones have not been adequately stabilized and the blood supply to the bones is also not adequate thus combination of these two factors have led to oligotrophic non union in this case also we have to open the fracture stabilize it and apply bone graft for early union and the last type is septic non union in these cases the patient is also healthy but the after surgery after plating or after nailing the bones have acquired an infection it may be hydrogenic or due to the patient's urinary tract infection or chest infection the germs the bacteria have come to the fracture site and caused an infection or sepsis around the fracture site this has led to the non union in septic non union we have to open the fracture site to remove all the hardwares we have to wash it thoroughly put some antibiotics wait for the infection to heal and then again refix it and apply bone grafting so these are the main types of non union now what we as doctors do if we see a case of non union or delayed union 
first of all we have to identify the cause of the non union or delayed union and we have to address it accordingly if the cause of the non union is poor fixation of the fractures then we have to fix it either surgically or by a plaster if the cause of the non union is nutritional deficiencies then we have to correct the nutritional deficiencies by providing high nutritious diet to the patients if the cause is steroids or other medications we have to titrate it we have to reduce its doses and if the cause is smoking or other diabetes or hypothyroidism we ask the patient to take care of that part this in this way we address non unions though non unions has been a headache for us orthopedic surgeons so it is very important to identify a delayed union or non union very early and treat it accordingly so this is all about non unions if you have any query please comment me in the comment box do like my videos if you find it useful and do subscribe to my channel if you like such videos so bye bye for now take care